Hey, what's up guys? This is Sky Force 95 here unboxing the Myfi Monopod selfie stick that is claimed to be waterproof. And I'll be testing that out, of course, in my final review. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the contents of this. And fortunately, I was able to get this product for free for reviewing purposes. But as usual, I promised to give my thorough and unbiased review of this. Um, I contacted Myfi. I hopefully I'm not butchering that name. And I asked them uh, if I could specifically review this product because I was really interested in and they said yeah go ahead so props to them thank you so much so here it is okay so there's really not much to the box itself so let's just go ahead and get into the opening of the box okay so here's the whole monopod selfie stick I prefer monopod because I really don't want to be one of those obnoxious people sticking this around in public. But as you can tell, it's much bigger than what you would usually hold for a selfie stick because this is meant to be uh, used for more extreme purposes. You can mount a GoPro in addition to your phones that you would usually mount this with. Okay, so that's done. Let's see what else comes in here. Okay, so here's all the contents. We've got a uh, strap, so you can hold on to the stick. This, I assume, is the mount for the remote, which is right here. And this is a GoPro mount, and currently I don't own a GoPro, but I do plan on getting one. So when I do get one, I will post pictures on my Facebook. Like my Facebook page so you can follow my posts if I ever do that. All right. Let me just take this out of the packaging since this is an unboxing video after all. Alright, so here's the remotes. So the top button looks like it's for iOS. I'm not sure what 360 is supposed to mean. And the bottom one's for Android. I'm not sure if it'll work with Windows Phone. Since it's not mentioned, I would assume no. And I believe right here is the on-off switch. See that right there. Okay, so then you would need to use this to pair it up with your phone, of course. So here's the remote shutter. So that's convenient that it's in a small little thing here. So even if you don't uh, choose to use this monopod, you can set this up on a tripod, which you can do so on the bottom of this monopod. So you want to get a big group shot, you can still do so, and this remote shutter button is able to do that. Okay, so then... Let me look at what's in here. Okay, so here's the manual for operating the remote. Just quickly show you guys what it looks like. So it shows you how to pair it with your phone. As usual, just pause this thing if you really want to read it in detail. But yeah, it takes in a coin battery as I noticed. And then here is the actual monopod. Alright, so let's see here. Here's the, the mount for your phone. Goodness, that thing needs oil. That's really squeaky there. You can see it's spring-loaded. And there are a little bit of padding here on the top and bottom so that it will not scratch your phone, which is good. And you can see that it has a maximum of 88 millimeters, I assume. Smallest is 54 millimeters. So it's kind of bulky as, as far as foam mounts go, as I can see. The threading here is the standard um, quarter inch threading found on most tripods. So that's good. So this can mount your point and shoot camera. I guess you can mount some mirrorless cameras. I'm not sure about DSLRs because this is it's pretty strong. I think it's pretty strong though. It's aluminum, but you might obviously you don't want to spend a cheap tri monopod, sorry, uh, for mounting your DSLRs. So, anyways, here is a what they say a selfie mirror, and then this can that's convenient. You can just use this to screw it in. Uh, to your phone, and then let's see here. 
This is to adjust the angle. You can lock it in place. It seems like there's no smooth transition, so it's a, like a few pre uh, pre predetermined slots that angles that you can use. And then here you can extend out each one of these just like on a tripod leg. But I'll show you that greater detail in the review because this is just an unboxing. Alright, so I guess this is the original company name. They changed it to make it seem more American, I guess. But this is obviously Chinese based. And then the handle, it has like these um, slots. And it kind of reminds me of, honestly, a bicycle handle. One of those cheaper kit kind. And it's comfortable though. It's, it's alright. Since it's slots, I'm kind of worried if if you'll build up mold or something if if you're constantly one of those people who use this in watery conditions. But anyways, and we also have another strap here. I'm not sure why. Okay, so I just finished pretty much assembling the basic components of this uh, monopod. So the remote holder here, you can just easily place here. You just push it onto the handle which I'm not too sure how secure it is but it is very convenient and then here is I just slip in the remote here it's very simple as well and of course it's just simply screw on the foam mount and then I realize what this is actually for and you see there's a little loop here for the remote you can put that in there if you were to use the remote separately that way you won't lose it which is very convenient what I find weird is that this ribbon thing of a strap is much less secure than this thing so I would prefer this on the remote rather than this but anyways this is what you get maybe I can try to uh, switch it out later on so that's pretty much it for this unboxing portion of this product stay tuned to my channel Skyforce95 for the final review if you found this video helpful please give it a like and thank you for watching